it's Bargain Princess! With the whole video, yay! <laughs> but just a quick FYI, forewarning, I'm probably gonna be overly loud, just in general, I'm a loud person, but I'm probably gonna be even louder just because I love shopping, it's always fun picking out new things, and I know some of you, mm-hmm, you've made that quite clear in the comment section that my voice is very annoying, or the introduction is extremely annoying, but you know, you guys, you could easily have two options, fast forward it, or don't watch, I mean, the negative comments really isn't necessary, but hey, what am I going to do? I put myself out there, and this is just who I am. Let's get started. This is a mixture of Black Friday shopping, a little bit of things that I picked out from Choey's, and then a couple things that I just recently, today, picked up from Marshall's. Let me just say, Black Friday shopping this year was whack. I just wasn't feeling it. There was just Cheerios everywhere, boxes everywhere, rude, annoyed customers everywhere complaining that the lack of staff and the customer service. But anyways, the only thing, one thing that I picked up was from JCPenney and I'm actually pretty excited about it. Hold on, it's hanging up. It's right here. Ah, I love it! It's just a big, huge, oversized Parker style jacket. I've been obsessed with this military khaki green. It has this faux fur hood which I love. You can actually remove the faux fur. And then I just noticed that you can remove the hood as well. It has a little zipper on the side. It has multiple pockets. I love the fact that it's also drawstring and look how cute that lining is. But the best thing about this coat is that it was originally $200, but I got it for a really, really good bargain. Are you guessing? Come on, guess. Name a price down below. I'll wait. Go ahead. I got this on sale for $59.99. Oh, now that is worth it, especially since it's a decent, well-made coat. Okay, so on to what I picked up from Choey's.com. It's pretty much the same experience that I had. Everything came individually wrapped plastic bags. Two thumbs up. It was branded really well. Definitely check out that video though. It explains my experience on Choey's. The sizing is still the same. Definitely go up a couple sizes just because everything is a little bit smaller than the things that you would normally buy in America. Did you guys watch Saza Sunset last week? It's America! But anyways, I picked out a couple things um, which I'm really, really excited for. This actually, my mom took over because this fits her as well. This is actually an oversized sweater. It's really warm. It's I love how it has like this fuzzy pattern to it. It's a little bit looser obviously on me. Um, if you've seen my mom, she has curves and hips and a bootylicious figure and I'm, I'm kind of, you know, curvy. But just the fact that this was able to fit both of us. So yeah, obsessed with this sweater. And then on top of that, it has pockets as well to put like your phone, candy, whatever. So really, really love this sweater. And then I also picked out this really, really super cute sweater. I'm pretty sure I actually seen this on another YouTuber, but I can't think of who. When I saw this sweater on Choeys.com, I was like obsessed and instantly drawn in because of this motif, this pattern right here. It kind of just reminds me of... Bill Cosby, but a chicer, hip version of Bill Cosby sweaters. So I love it. I can just totally picture myself wearing this sweater with bright, bold red lips and big, huge, puffy, crazy, curly hair. I just, I love, like I'm obsessed with this. And then the last thing that I picked out from Choey's, I've been seeing this actually everywhere, like cartoon or animal print sweatshirts. And this one, I just love how subdued it is. I love how it has a reindeer on it. No. Just a deer. <laughs> okay, so not a reindeer. Reindeers, I think, are fake. Wow, but anyways, I just love how majestic this looks. And then for the back, it's just a plain simplistic one. But the thing is, I actually picked this up in an extra large. This was actually advertised for like a unisex for both men and women. And I was expecting this sweater to be a little bit baggier, but like I said in the last haul video, Choey's has all their measurements, and before you purchase anything on Choey's.com, make sure you measure yourself. So definitely check out Choey's. I know that they're having like a lot of sales, especially during the time, this time of the season. I'll have all the information down below, especially if you're interested in these. I'll find the links as well. And then as for my Marshalls, I picked up a couple things, just a few things. So I did pick up these 
jeans from Marshalls. Believe it or not, these are an Abercrombie and Fitch brand that I picked out for $24.99. And as you can see, they have this paint splattered effect going on. They're boyfriend jeans with the cuff at the bottom. These I wish were a little bit baggier on me, like more of a boyfriend fit, but I actually ended up getting my normal size, size 7. But the funny thing is, it says that it's a size 4. And we all know I'm not a size 4. <laughs> the other thing that I picked up, I've just been really loving oversized sweaters. But the best thing about it is that it has an underlining of chiffon, which I thought was so cute. It does show a little bit of your back meat. Um, that sounded so gross. <laughs> I had to think about what the heck I just said. You guys know, if you've seen my videos, I'm not like the most skinniest girl. And I do have a little little tiny back meat and um, with the high waisted pants and this open back sweater with the chiffon it was very flattering and I've been seeing a lot of shirts with the the cutout open back but I just love the fact that it is a little bit more classier with the chiffon underneath and then the last thing that I picked out so cute but I'm not sure if it fits because this was the last thing that I saw and I was already at the checkout and I didn't feel like going back to the fitting room to take off my knee high boots and yeah, it was just too much work. So hopefully this fits. If it doesn't, this bad boy will be going back to the store. But I love the fact that it's plannel, very boyish, but very chic at the same time with the lace. Just loving that. As I mentioned before, I'm digging that whole like grungy boyish look so I'm just loving the two textures together so that is it I hope you all enjoyed my haul don't forget to comment down below your thoughts how did your Black Friday shopping go was it a disaster did you have fun did you enjoy it what time did you wake up did you find anything good anything juicy did you buy that smart TV or PlayStation 4 I would like to know I like commenting I like interacting with you guys also don't forget to hit that thumbs up button show your love and support hit that subscribe button so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video and I will see you all in my next one bye it blurs out my imperfections like I am like obsessed with this BB cream but the thing is